Oh. Here it is, another Wednesday morning with everybody. So today, we were a week into the new administration and all that stuff. Oh, I got stuff to stuff in there. That's pretty funny. <laughs> uh, it was taped on there while my jacket was drying. That's my favorite setting right there. So today, it's not as cold as yesterday. Yesterday was like 34 degrees and very windy. And on my ride home, it was raining with winds up to, they were like 20 miles an hour. I was cruising in one of my lowest gears, third gear, and doing only about seven miles an hour, sometimes six. And it was a crawl. It took me about 10 minutes longer, maybe 15 minutes longer than usually get on my bike ride home. We'll probably have rain this afternoon with more winds, and that could be a problem. We had a windstorm earlier this week, and we're at the Manor Shopping Center. Conspicuously missing is the Manor Shopping Center sign that blew over last week. So that's where I'm at today. Also right over there, but it used to be West Coast Sporting Goods. It's the place where I got my first athletic supporter and junk protector. Uh, for those of you who aren't athletes, the junk protector is called a cup. I don't know, I was probably second grade, something like that, and my father, Alan, brought me down here, and I got my first cup. I might have had my first beer before that, but that's a whole nother story, Dad. Down over here is Shelly's. Used to be Shelly's, it's now Ryan's, and I hope with a new, uh, little bit of opening up maybe they'll be able to get some service going but and then across the street is world famous Porky's, Porky's, Pizza. Porky's Pizza that's right everybody goes to Porky's they're still in business doing uh, takeout to go I don't know maybe with the restrictions being lifted they're going to uh, have some people sit outside and eat some pizza but they don't serve lunch which is kind of a bummer but uh, at the same time that's been their business model for 40 years and it's worked out because now they have another fantastic place out in Pleasanton. Pleasanton. So hopefully uh, places like Porky's, my buddy Matt at Main Street Brewery in Pleasanton, hopefully they'll be able to start serving some food outside, get open again, bring in some kind of money and, uh, you know, sustain until this whole thing's over. Well, right around the corner of the parking lot is the manor sign that blew over. Then we have Super Burger across the street. Of course, it's uh, 50 something degrees instead of the 34 that it was yesterday. It's a little less windy, and fortunately, I'm going that way, and so is the wind. So today, I have the wind at my back. Hopefully, it'll turn around on my ride home. You never know. I remember coming through here on the first day. I stopped in the middle of Farnsworth and Manor, and I just sat there in the middle. I stopped my bike, got off, and I just did one of the there wasn't a car in sight. It was probably one of the most eeriest days uh, in my life. Well, no, because we had 9-11, and then of course, December 37th was kind of eerie too, but it's a beautiful day. The new administration uh, set some lofty goals for dealing with uh, the racial inequality. That's all great, fine and dandy, but the real problem is still greed, greed, greed because if there's not financial, sharing distribution of the wealth it it won't matter if we love and trust one another because okay a lot of people judge us by how much money we make and you can see that around the world with all these crazy millionaires and billionaires uh, i hope our new administration can actually get some things done but still we got to tackle wall street and the greed factor but that's that's People might think that's political, and it kind of is, but it's not. Greed is just greed, and it's a worldwide problem. And it's also some of the reasons why a lot of us disagree is because some, some people are disenfranchised, and and they're not able to keep up with the rest. And, uh, you know, I'm fortunate I'm hanging in there and swimming. But, you know, after 40 years of working my butt off, my dad always teases me. Um, I'm 60 now, but when he was 58, he retired. And I'm still working and probably have 12 more years to go. But again, you know, things have changed in the last 30 years and it's our fault. We the people. Anyway, I didn't want to get into all that today. I did want to talk about this fantastic bike that I ride. There's a there's a cool story behind that. On our fifth, my 59th birthday oh, and, and my so 60th birthday, birthday in Hawaii, we decided to uh, take a trip to Amsterdam. But before we decided that, 
the cause of that trip to Amsterdam was I was looking for a concert venue for one of my favorite bands. Uh, it's a USA band called Symphony X, and they were not playing anywhere in the United States, so I looked up to see where they're playing, just for shits and giggles, right? And turns out they were playing in Holland, in a city called Nijmegen, uh, Holland, which is about an hour and a half train ride from Amsterdam. So I looked at the date, the date was right there around my birthday, talked to Laura about it, and I said, hey, what the heck, let's go to Amsterdam. And we do have a friend there through my father that is a ballet instructor and he and his girlfriend live there and he has two ballet studios. And so it kind of made sense. We'll go visit him and, uh, and tour Amsterdam and go to a concert. And so we did. And, uh, and that was a great, great adventure. Very fortunate because, you know, it's the last adventure we really got to travel. Uh, but in the process, we fell in love with the bike culture. And even before we went to Amsterdam, I was looking for a new bike because I had been commuting on my hybrid bike and I carried stuff well, in I was my back for a new bicycle that had a, a, a front rack over here and a back rack over here. And, and I did have a back rack and a pack and everything like that, but it was very tough carrying all the things I needed, including my uh, Timbuktu uh, laptop briefcase and all that other stuff. And, and then clothes, change of clothes, the towel for drying off at work and all that other stuff. But so I wanted that front rack for extra carrying space. But in Amsterdam, we saw these kind of cargo bikes. And when we got home, started looking into new bikes and yeah, they're like $1,000, $1,500. But I have friends that are spending $2,000, $5,000 on their carbon fiber bikes and all that stuff. And then it dawned on me, say, hey, let's, why don't I get a cargo bike? And I could throw everything in there. So I started looking them up and they're kind of pricey and everything. But they're less than those carbon fiber bikes. And the health benefits, I mean, you know, geez, ride your bike every day. Uh, I lost weight, uh, health stuff. So, so we pulled the trigger on it and we got it. I didn't tell Laura when I ordered it either. So it was kind of a surprise. Um, I assembled it in our warehouse and rode it home one day. And it's been uh, about a year and four months now. Last week I went over 4,000 miles. So it's, it's been pretty, pretty exciting. I mean, we still ride the hybrid bike once in a while, but man, if you haven't seen our videos going down to the shoreline, we go down there and clean up and we load up, you know, about 40 pounds. We throw it in that bucket and we drive to the nearest uh, uh, East Bay garbage can and we, we dump all the garbage that we get out of the bay and it feels good. We get some fresh air, we get to meet some people and it's a blast. Uh, the other thing we do is we load this up with our uh, coffee and maybe adult beverages and we'll go down to uh, some of the parks. We've gone up to Castro Valley and down to the Oyster Point Park and we'll play some cribbage. Uh, so the bike is a hell of a lot of fun. And even if you can't get a cargo bike, you're not interested in a cargo bike, I encourage bike riding as a mental, physical health benefit. Yeah. It sure does help me. So it's not raining today yet. It's gonna rain this afternoon, probably right when I'm commuting around uh, four o'clock, but uh, I'm okay. I have all the gear I need for that. It's all stashed there in the cargo bike. I was encouraged to drive to work today and I'm like, and I try not to give up. Uh, and I did drive once last week when it was uh, stormy. Actually, the day that the sign blew down here at the Manor Shopping Center, I drove. You know, there's a lot of things to look forward to people. Keep on trucking, keep on believing, uh, keep on being safe with our mask, you know, if, if you love people unconditionally, I mean, it truly, if you believe in your religion, Jesus, unconditional love, doesn't matter what you believe about the virus or the mask, if you love people unconditionally, you're gonna wear your masks in public. Again, my friends, my peoples, I love them unconditionally, my families, and I, I do what's right. And especially at work, I have to be careful because if I, contract the, the, the virus I, I have to be I have to go home and it's gonna affect the whole operations and a whole bunch of other people so so again unconditional love unconditional friendship anyway and that's it for what's that smell 6 a.m. or somewhere around 6 a.m. I'm going to get on my bike and ride I do love you all unconditionally if you want to have 
great conversations without having to beat each other up or shoot each other. Uh, send me an email, get on my Instagram, uh, check out my YouTube. I mean, I revamped my musical website. It's looking better. I, I, I've been I'm improving all that. So, yeah, check out the stomediacompany.com website and maybe, you know, buy some of that meditational music. I sleep with every night. Uh, I haven't had a cold in over 10 years. One of my latest ones took me five years to write called The Fifth Symphonic Aegis. And Aegis is a uh, term that defines shield. So it's designed for your immune protection and shield you. So anyway, that's it. I am getting on my bike and riding. Hey, Jean Marie, you're live today. I'm all oh, Kenny. Well, say hi to your sister, Kenny. It's not cold, Mom. Maybe there it is, but uh, it was 34 yesterday. It's 50-something today, and I'm fine. And I can't for somebody that's going to the bank. They're not going to do martial arts today because it's too close. Anyway, 